What's up, guys? Iceman here. Wake up! To the Diablo Resurrected Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Deck. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like the video if you will, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the page and hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and my patrons. Links in the description below. And to those who are not offended by me, may you have many wives. Yep! Appreciate you guys coming back. <clears throat> so, I have a sorceress right here. Because I decided to try something a bit different. In my last video, I have a Dream Holy Shock Sorceress. Now, it wasn't the one that utilizes passion and zeal. I was just trying to see how effective the aura was of Holy Shock. Because I beefed up the lightning damage from it with lightning mastery. So, what I decided to try with this one... Well, hell, let's just see how the fire one works out. In fact, I gotta go pick up a damn Sunder Charm. I kind of forget about that. But nonetheless, let me make the items real quick. I'm gonna have Dragon times two and Hand of Justice, all right? Sir. Lo. Sal. So here's the first dragon. On striking. That's kind of unfortunate uh, that the Hydra is cast on striking. Uh, maybe I could try to hit shit with it. We'll see. So basically, the reason I'm making this, of course, is because of the Holy Fire Aura. So with this setup, I'm going to have three pieces of gear that have the Holy Fire Aura. And I'm going to max out my Fire Mastery to help beef it up. And let's just see what the damage is like. I'm really not expecting all that much, but we'll see what it's like. And then I'm going to also make Dragon in a large shield. Level 14, Holy Fire Aura. Uh, slightly different stats, I believe. And then, last of all, I'm going to make Hand of Justice in a Berserker Axe, which is Sir Cham Am Lo, I believe. And it probably would have been better off in a Phase Blade or a Crystal Sword or something like that. But I decided to go Berserker Axe so I could still hit shit. And it has a uh, far lower dex requirement. So let's see how well this works out. Oh my god! So this item is an absolute toad. 92 to 274 damage. Hand of Justice. Blaze when you level up. Meteor when you die. Level 48. Level 16 Holy Fire Aura when equipped. And this could be utilized on like an enchant build, I think. Because you max out your enchant, and of course it's not going to add to the holy fire aura damage. But it will, however, add to your damage. So you could basically couple that with all the added damage you get to your weapon from holy fire aura. And just have a ton of fire damage on your character. I'm not sure how much we're talking, uh, but we're about to find out with a not so maxed out build. But with a build that uh, that isn't that bad, right? This thing also gives 33 IS, 287% enhanced damage. Ignore target's defense, which is a very desirable mod. Uh, with a sorceress build like this, because you want to be able to hit shit. Seven life stolen Britain. Oh my god, I almost forgot. The negative 20% to enemy fire res. And you even get some deadly strike, 20%, hit blinds target, and freezes target. So I'm going to put this stuff on my sorceress now, my other one. And I'm going to fetch that... Sunder Charm real quick, and let's see how well it performs. Welcome back to the Research Institution. So, I'm not so sure what my thinks about this so far. I don't know how it's going to compare to the Holy Shock build that I did last video. Now granted, I don't think I'm going to be swinging this axe too much with this character. I just kind of want to see what these three Holy Fire items... That give you the Holy Fire Aura. All stacked up, all three. I want to see how well that affects enemies with a fully maxed out Fire Mastery and a Sunder Charm, alright? And my Mercenary has Infinity as well. Of course, when a enemy's Fire Immunity is Sundered, Infinity's Conviction is only one-fifth effectiveness. 
but that's fine. Let's see how it goes. And I kind of forgot to put on the helm that uh, pierces fire us. That nice new helm that they made. What's it called again? Flickering Climb. I still have on Dream Helm. So I put one point into Lightning Mastery to help boost up that Holy Shock. So I'm going to have a little bit of added lightning damage here as well. All right. And of course, the Mercenary has Andariel's Visage with Rel, Treachery, and it's a Holy Freeze Mercenary. And just real quick with the gear. Again, I have Dream Helm, 15 Holy Shock. Maros, Dragon with a 14 Holy Fire, Dragon Armor with a 14 Holy Fire, and H Hand of Justice with a 16 Holy Fire. So all three are added together. Mage Fist, just wanted some FCR and some Mana Regen. SOJ, AROC, SOJ, Silk Weaves, which aren't going to help out too much in this build because I'm using Hydra, I decided. And of course, you're not going to benefit from the mana after each kill when a minion or a summon kills an enemy, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I'm just gonna keep these boots on anyway. And then I have Flame Rift and a couple Poison Riz charms. So that's it. And with the skills, I maxed out Fire Mastery, so plus 233%. So that really did help with my aura. You can kind of tell here with the damage, even though that does showcase lightning, but that's because I popped down the helm here. If I take that off, it's, uh 8400 to 11k. Almost all from my Holy Fire Aura. But then of course get a nice added bonus with the helm. Uh, for max damage especially. So, and then I decided to max out Hydra. Unfortunately it still does ass damage. But I maxed out Firebolt and Fireball. It's two synergies. And it still does ass damage. But I just want to see how this compares uh, to the Holy Shock build that I made in my last video. Where I wasn't going around hitting shit. Granted, I do want to try that out, so stay tuned for those videos. I would like to put passion on this character so I can have a zeal and go around and hit shit and max out enchant for that matter and mess around with the Holy Shock and Holy Fire auras. So let me know in the comments what you think would be a optimal build. So let's go to the Cold Plains. So my Fire Pierce isn't all that impressive, but it is 20%. And I don't have any facets on, of course. Uh, Flickering Flame help would help a lot, but uh, at least I do have... Oh my god! Holy shit! That's actually good! Oh my god! Shit! Uh, that's better than what I was expecting. Research noted. Now, to my understanding... And look at and these guys are innately firemen, and it's still getting them. Uh, to my understanding, holy fire aura... It does more damage as you get closer. Alright. Now, I don't know if we can see these numbers, and I don't know if uh, the other thing works the same. What's the other thing again? Holy shock. If it does more damage, it's closer to enemies. Let me know in the comments below so we can note this bullshit for research. Because uh, I really don't got an answer for that right now. But hot damn! Holy shit, and this is even... Look at this! Oh my god! I mean, I, I, I know we're only in Act 1 Hell. And this is players that, uh, players want, but that's fine. You guys know that's how I spy likes to roll. I mean, what's gonna happen when I start using Hydra? I mean, this is Crick Ray. And how many can you have out again? As many as you want. Tell they go bye bye. Duration 10 seconds. One, two, okay, you can have five out. That's right. Okay, so. I mean, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. So let's see how well it fares in the Cast Sanctuary. Which I think will be a real challenge to this build. You have a lot of innate fire immunes, and of course, they're kind of high HP. But yeah, this is players one, but that's fine. Ooh, here we go. We'll go to Frigid Highlands first. And I think I will uh, utilize some Hydra. Is the height? Oh my god! Holy toad! I mean, oh shit! Dumbass! Alright, I kind of messed things up. But yeah, what if I were actually swinging the damn axe? Of course, I'm not using passion, so I don't have zeal. But I mean, I could see... I mean, I'm, I'm going to do adequate damage. I, I think you're better off hanging out and just casting Hydra. Because, as you guys saw, the damage is only 15k. Uh, a lot of elemental. 
But, uh, I mean, maybe it'll be okay. She's gonna be swinging it relatively slowly. But, uh, let me try this one more time. So, obviously, when you is chilling around enemies who have arrows and shit, as a sorceress with a horrible block chance, 11%, not bad. You're probably gonna get your ass kicked, especially if they have an R or whatever. But, I mean, I'm actually, I'm kind of impressed with this. Maybe the dream one still performs better, I'm not sure. Uh, and, and, and the thing is, you can only have two Holy Shock items on. Dream you can only make in a, uh, what is it, a, a helm and a shield. Oh, gee whiz. A helm and a shield, whereas you can have three dragon parts on because dragon can be made in a weapon as well. And uh, a body armor and a shield. So, yeah. I mean, I'd like to experiment a little bit with this. Cute little armor. Black Hades. 30% damage to demons. 208. Now, you guys don't have to hear that shit, do you? But, yeah, I wish they would uh, improve some of this stuff. Like in Project Diablo 2. Which, I, I think I will be live streaming a little bit of Project Diablo 2. I still don't know what character to make for the beginning. Uh, I just want to have a good time. I might go summon Necro, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should try out for PD2 this season, or are you going to be playing? <clears throat> but okay. <clears throat> so, let me see how well this does in the Chaos Sanctuary. Not expecting too much. Yeah, I don't see how, how you're going to um, hit shit. I mean, as you guys saw, I really did get my ass kicked right there. Oh, jeez. And look at my attack rating. 335. I've never seen such a wretched attack rating. But, uh, the thing is, it does have ITD, of course. Okay. Yeah, this is, this sucks. Okay, yeah, this, this really sucks. The other one was better. Oh, I think. The, uh, holy shock, but let me know how you guys think this compares. And I'm actually being active right now, too, just casting all these Hydras all over the place. I suppose you could be casting Fireball as well. And hell, I still have 13 uh, unused skill points. Uh, yeah, but I'm in an energy kill or... Max up your warrant is kind of what I'm thinking. I did get my mana to 1,000, so I put some into energy, and then I put the rest into vitality. I just kind of wanted something in between. Yep, that's what she said. But, I mean, shit, what do you guys think about this build? I mean, it sucks ass, right? Especially for how expensive it is. But I think there is a better use. Like, what you'd want to do is you'd want to be that uh, Zeal Sorg. Unfortunately, you'd have to get rid of Hand of Justice in weapon format. And you'd have to be uh, the Zeal Sorceress with Passion instead. And then you have dragon and all that shit. Maybe a couple, maybe dream. You just kind of do what you can do, you know? Dream helm, dream shield, dragon body armor, I assume. Uh, or maybe you don't need that. Max enchant. And try to zeal shit. Is uh, kind of what I'm thinking of what I want to try. Alright, so stay tuned for a video on that. But, I'm not finished with this yet. I mean, I wonder how it would fare if I'm just trying the aura thing anyway, like what I was doing with the uh, Holy Shock one. I wasn't really trying to go around and hit shit. I just wanted to see how well the aura fared. So if I'm going that route, maybe I should max Fire Mastery, and instead of having Crescent Moon in hand, I will have um, Hand of Justice in hand. Granted, I'll then only have one item... I could have I could have uh, I could have Hannah Justice and Dragon Armor on, in fact, but I won't be par uh, piercing Lightning Mastery nearly as much, or at all for that matter, aside from my Infinity that's on the Mercenary. But I'll have dual auras going on, and I'll max out both Masteries, and I'm kind of curious to see how well that performs. Just some weird sort of hybrid aura sort, uh, Tesla sort or some bullshit, you know. So I might give that a try. My God, this is wretched. And this is Players 1. Yeah, this is wretched. I mean, it did good in Act 1. You gotta give credit where credit's due. It did great in Act 1. But I would say, objectively speaking, 
for research purposes. This build sucks dick. Alright. So jot that down in your little notebooks. Uh, there's really not a better way of saying it. But beyond that, I would still like to experiment some. But yeah, I definitely gotta try out that aura shit. Because I just, I love being able to just chill and shit dies around me. Like, I know the zeal one with enchant is the way to go. You go around, you hit shit. But I'd rather just chill. And I mean, it's a sorceress, you know? He's, he's kind of vulnerable in D2R. This guy, alright? He's a bit vulnerable. I, I don't really want to get up in their grill. And I know you use energy shield and all that bullshit. Uh, you have tanky shit on or whatever. But I mean, I really don't want to have to deal. I just want to chill and, and let and shit just die around me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's like, that's the allure about Diablo in my opinion. When I was a little duck-billed platypus, that's really what I wanted. I wanted to be a godly character who could just stand there and shit just dies around me, you know? I feel that's kind of what you go for. Uh, the Javazon wasn't really that. Well, I mean, you had to click once and everything would die around, you know? So that's why I just like playing the Javazon. You just felt so damn godly. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... Let's see how well this build fares in the cows. And uh, I will try Satan as well. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this so far. Yep! Alright, here's Satan. Unfortunately, my mercenary is probably going to do most of the work. I mean, I... Oh, God! Okay. I really didn't mean for that to happen, but he, he died. And shit, look at this. Two rares. One to droid, one to droid skills. Two to javelin and spear. Okay. So, I'm going to try the cow level. And let's see how well it fares. I'm thinking, if anything, it might do okay in the cow level. Because those half is, uh My impression is they just don't like fire. They don't like getting them asses roasted. You know, that's kind of their lot in life. So, uh, I'm going to go fetch that leg. And let's see how well does the cow level. Yep! Oh, shit! Okay, I butched my ass! God damn, they're going to kill the mercenary too. Look at how, look how fast he is. Holy sh... Toad. Okay, I will get... My god, he kicked his ass. Come on, get away! God damn! Come on, start working, damn it. Let's, let's get that aura going. Holy shit. I mean, th look, look at this. This is amazing. Okay, look at the ticks. Tick. Tick. Wow, what a shitty tick. My god, it... it Heck so with freaking and frequently. Uh, it needs to take a little bit more. Because uh, that's bullshit. Holy toad. Okay, let's let's try out the ticks again. Yeah, obviously, you want to use like static field or some shit. Okay, when they have that. Okay, he's going to get his ass kicked. Time to use fireball. My god. If you use fireball, it's actually, uh, it's actually not bad. Maybe that's my problem this whole time. Yeah, my problem is I wasn't using Fireball. Holy shit. But who wants to use Fireball when you have Hydra? Like, I just wish uh, Hydra were a little... Do you guys think my wish is going to come through? I... It, it, it would be nice if Hydra was actually worth fuck. You know what I mean? Like, it really sucks. I mean, god damn. And, like, these modern guys make it better. These guys don't get paid for this shit. They got them shooting fireball and all that shit. But, uh, yeah, Hydra just sucks. It misses all the time, too. I'm curious. I, I, maybe it'll be improved in Diablo 4. I, I think it is. It's actually usable there, but... Uh, different game. But I don't know. I mean, I'm a little disappointed... But at the same time, I, I think that this thing is really uh, slightly better than what I was expecting. Because I was really expecting it to be ass. And I mean, at least I was able to kill shit in Act 1, you know? With like 50 high runes worth of gear. At least I was able to kill shit in Act 1. Players 1 difficulty. Hell. So you gotta give credit where credit's told. But yeah, if you guys would like the damn video, 
Uh, Morbidus to come. I would like to try that sort of hybrid uh, Holy Fire, Shock of Den bullshit uh, with the Sorceress, where I just get to chill. But granted, I probably will be casting a skill, and I don't know what skill that's going to be. Uh, maybe even Frozen Orb to really mix things up, have a little bit of uh, cold damage as so well. I'll straight up be doing Fire, Lightning, and Cold. Uh, so, I mean, that would be pretty epic, I think. And Frozen Orb, uh, it does quite well with one point into Cold Mastery and maxing out the skill itself. Uh, without even maxing out its uh, additional synergy. It still does okay, you know? But, I mean, maybe Hydra would still be better, since I will have maxed out uh, Fire Mastery. But I think I'll be using a Sunder Charm for uh, Lighting and not Fire. So, nonetheless, appreciate you guys coming by. Like the video if you will. Subscribe to the page. More videos to come. Peace be with you.